The Manchilds. Big questions, small wages. They're John and Ben at 10 years old. I'm Lil Ben. And I'm Lil John. And today we're talking to Chopper. You swear a lot. So to stop you from swearing in front of kids, we brought you this. How much do I put in for the C-bomb? Maybe $2. Fuck yeah, next question. <laughs> You were always over here in New Zealand. Is that because nobody thinks you're funny in Australia? No, they do. It's just that uh, in Australia you can't say naughty words, let alone say them in front of <laughs> an 11 year old. 10. 10? Oh, well, fuck yeah. <laughs> We understand you went to prison. Was that for crimes against comedy? No, it wasn't actually. Very similar incident to this. Me in a hotel room with a couple of minors. You know, the rest is history. What's the best way to bully someone at school? The sharp end of a toothbrush and you put it in just under their kidney. And then you make sure you get the toothbrush in the bin ASAP. Do your moustache real? Uh, yes. What happens if I pull it? Uh, you get punched in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> In what part of Australia is it OK to draw on yourself and wear sky blue polo shirts? Pretty much all of Australia. The one thing that we don't like in Australia is if you arrive by boat. And we're pretty transport specific when it comes to that. My teacher has given me three detentions this week. Could you take care of her? For $3.50? What am I going to do? Just walk up to her and call her the sea bomb for $3.50? bloody That's not going to cut it. We can have... take her to the zoo and we can drop her in the lion's cage. That is so 1950s. Why don't you just get a little curly moustache and lift triangular weights, you old school freak? <laughs> You've got to get creative, son. Next you'll be like, why don't we tie her to a railway track and go no -ho -ho, for 20 minutes while the train arrives? No, get in there with a machete and fuck her up. <laughs>